that it. So today I'm going to explain to you one of the easiest ways to improve your French speaking skills. And it's really simple, but it can take some people a really long time before realizing it, which for me, for example, was the case. It took me quite a few years before I realized this thing, but it helped me a lot afterwards to better understand French and also to be able to be better understood by people, especially. So all it is, is that the syllable that is the most emphasized in French is always, always, always the last syllable of a word. So in some languages, the syllable that is the most emphasized can be all over the place, like in English. Sometimes it's at the beginning, the first syllable, sometimes it's in the middle, and sometimes it's at the end. And in other languages, sometimes it's almost always maybe the next to last syllable, but it can also change around too. But in French, it's really simple. It's always at the end. So for example, the word for information in French is information. Information. So again, the part, the syllable that is the most stressed in this word is the last syllable. Another word, nouveau. The word for bottle, bouteille, bouteille. So there's two syllables in this word, bou and teille, and it's the last one that is the most emphasized, bouteille. And the word for boat in French, bateau, bateau. So again, two syllables, ba, and it's the last one that is the most emphasized, to, bateau. So this works for all the words in French. So let's say some of the country names in French would be Canada. So again, it's the last part that is the most emphasized. Canada. Portugal. Portugal. For Portugal. And for Italy, in French we say Italy. Italy. Je vais aller en Italie. And for names of people too, it's exactly the same thing. So for example, you can have the names Nathalie, Robert, Charlotte, Richard, Marcus, William, Caroline. Again, notice that it's always the last syllable that is the most stressed. So usually for the French learners like me, what kind of tricked me was to pronounce things that I'm really used to pronouncing in English to pronounce it like in French with the syllable at the end. So for example, like for company names. So in French, if you really want to be understood by people and also if you want to better understand people too, you got to get used to, to some new pronunciations. So for example, with a company like Facebook, in French it's Facebook. Facebook. For Google, it's Google. Google. And for YouTube, it'd be YouTube. YouTube. And lastly, for example, for the company IKEA, in France, it's IKEA. IKEA. But again, this works for all words. So, for example, for the planet Jupiter, it's Jupiter. Jupiter. Again, it's spelled the exact same way, so it's really easy, for example, for an English learner to look at the word and pronounce it like in English, but you always have to remember it's always the last syllable in French that is the most stressed. So we'd say Jupiter, Saturn, and things like that. So there you go, a really easy way to improve your French. So now that you know it, you'll know that every word that you need to pronounce you'll be always stressing the last syllable in French. So hope you liked this video. Give it un pouce en l'air if you did. And à la prochaine!